Hi, it's Legionero back with another video. I would like to say welcome to all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel and everyone who keeps coming back each time I post a new video. So today I am I'm back in my Planberry planner and I'm using this Quiet Luxury sticker book by Gold Mine and Coco. Um, they were having a moving sale. I'm not sure if it's still going on yet, but things were 70% off. Um, I got these, this book and another book at 60% off. Um, the thing about their sales is you really have to get in there um, <laughs> once they post because their things go quick. Um, and, I, and I can tell you that Gold Mine and Coco has some great quality stickers. Um, I like them. I don't buy from them very often just because of the price range. Um, and I'm I'm on a series budget, <laughs> so when they put these on sale for sixty per sixty percent off, I jumped on them because um, I made the books about uh, twelve dollars somewhere around in there. Um, so not bad. Um, I think they're regular thirty five. So my math might be a little off. Forgive me if it is, but <laughs> made the sticker book a lot cheaper. Um, anyway, so. I'll do a quick little flip so you can see some of the things in the book. Like I said, I'm not sure <clears throat> what all they have left because they're doing a moving sale. They're moving to Texas. Um, but keep an eye out on them um, if you don't already. Keep an eye out on them because they, they do really have good quality stickers. And I try to support when I can. I can't always support, but I try to support when I can. All right. Um, so, still not a lot going on. <laughs> uh, yeah, still not a lot going on. Still just trying to, this is perfect, right here. Um, and this is like a, why, this says good things take time. I say that's perfect because I needed that. Um, this is like a washi tape type um, sticker. Not all of their sticker books are like that, but this one in, is, in particular is some of the stickers are like a washi tape, have a washi tape type feel. Um, love that. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, not a lot going on. Just trying to make it through each week <laughs> in one piece. Uh, I think I'm doing a pretty good job of it. <laughs> Some days are better than others. So I've been thinking about my sewing journey lately. And I decided a few years ago, this was prior to um, everything that happened in 2020. <laughs> um, I had made the, the decision that I was only going to sew. Can you see? Uh, I was only going to sew things that I knew I was going to wear. Because when I first started sewing, when I say, so I don't know if I've told this story on this channel, but Mimi G, very uh, big in the sewing community. Um, I was on Facebook one night and a sponsor post popped up by her. Um, she was wearing this beautiful maxi skirt, right? And I had seen some of, uh, this was back when Facebook used to do the whole, your friend liked this photo <laughs> type thing. <laughs> um, so everybody had been liking this, this picture and I finally saw it on my timeline. So I said, let me check her out. At the time I was not in the fashion. My fashion sense, although I dress nice, but it was all because of New York and Company. Whatever New York and Company had on the mannequin, that's what I was buying. 
<laughs> that's how I put my outfits together for work. And that's how I was, you know, that I was going into buildings. And um, when I worked at doctor's offices and when I first started teaching and different things like that, that's how I would dress. I would have my slacks. I would have my button down. It would match because New York and company put it together on the mannequin. And that's how I went, <laughs> went to work. Um, so I was just on Facebook and I saw her and I clicked on her profile and I saw she made her own clothes. I saw she dressed nice. I was like, oh, this is interesting. Um, and my mom has been trying to get had had been trying to get me to sew my whole life. I didn't want to. Um, I don't want to put a quote about fashion. Uh, so I saw that she had a blog. I saw that she had a YouTube channel. So I, went, I just went and checked her out. And from that night forward, I fell in love with sewing. Um, I went home that same weekend. My mom gave me a sewing machine. We went fabric shopping. And thus, that is how the sewing journey began. I mean, at the time, I think I was like 35. Somewhere around in there. Um, so, I, um, but I say all that to say, when I first started sewing, I was so everything Mimi sewed, everything. Like, if she said that a certain pattern was it, I was going to get that pattern, and I was going to make it. <laughs> um... And I started blogging. Um, I started out blogging like maybe five days a week. And then eventually I started going to once a week. And I, I can't tell you last time I, <laughs> I blogged. I have a whole blog sitting there and not working on it. That's the goal for this year. Start back blogging. Um, but anyway. But then I realized, even though the stuff I was making was really pretty, and it looked good on me, uh, one thing I don't, not necessarily that I don't like about it, I would prefer these to be matte so you can't see the writing behind them, but still beautiful stickers. I just, you know. Anyway, um, I guess they all are. <laughs> this um but anyway i um i started to realize i was only making things and wearing them just to take pictures for the for the blog i wasn't really i wasn't wearing these things out there were certain things that i would wear out like if i made a jumpsuit and had to go to a wedding or something like that i'd have a nice little jumpsuit um but yeah so I said you know what I'm going to only start making things that I know I'm going to wear and that started a whole new journey for me I loved it I still love it because I still only make things that I'm going to wear uh, let's see I'm looking for something to put down. Um, um, yes, and I still only make things that I know I'm going to wear. But also during that time, I got into bag making. Now, bag making is really, really a love of mine. Um... And somehow I've gotten away from that. So I want to get back to um, sewing bags again. I'm just looking for something to put here. So now I'm about to go on a journey of bag making again. I have bag patterns 
on my website. Um, I have a different website than I use on here for the um, printable download stuff. Um, I have one for my sewing as well. I wanted something with a trim like that, not the darker trim. But if I can't find anything, I might have to put the darker trim. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get back into bag making and teaching bag making because I was showing people how, same way I come on here and show you all about the different AI stuff. <laughs> I was also showing people on my sewing channel about sewing bags. So I want to get back into that. Right. So my moments of focus that I've been taking, <laughs> I guess, are working out. Um... Which is a good thing. Ah, oh, I just ripped my sticker. That's another thing. Again, like I told you in the at the beginning, these are like washi tape type stickers, so you gotta be careful when you're pulling them up. Ooh, that is so cute. Um, let's see. They have some really nice things in here. Let's see, I need to put something here for my stats. I don't know if I want to put a girl next to a girl. I may put a girl over here. Um, but yeah, that is I don't know if I have anything. I like this little checklist is cute. <laughs> I will stick that there. I write small, so um, this checklist is fine. Um, I write really small. Looking for something to put down. Hmm. Bear with me, cause I'm <laughs> I'm trying to figure this out. Um. All right. Let's see. Maybe I will put it check this here. Maybe a quote or something here if there's some in here. There's plenty of quotes in here, but just like regular quotes. They're quotes like this. If not, I might have to put some, like a deco type sticker. We will see. 
but what was I talking about? I was talking, oh, talking about going back on my bag making journey. Um, so yeah, going back on my bag making journey. I'm excited. I already have plans in my head about what I'm doing first. I'm thinking about taking one of my bag patterns and modifying it. Um, I don't want to put another plant there. I might have to just so it, there'll be something in the space. I will. It's okay. It's my planner. <laughs> I probably should have put the bigger one there, but it's okay. All right. Now, we're getting somewhere. I think I put a, a girl here. I want to stick something here, but I don't want to overdo it. And I don't really see anything that kind of fits. I still got to do this space here. I think I have something, but <sighs> y'all, I'm struggling with this spread. <laughs> There's okay. So yeah, I'm excited. Um, we'll see where this journey takes me. I hope she is not too big for this section because I. Okay. Ooh, great. Perfect. There we go. This side is done. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Do you all have any um, craft things that you do? Let me know in the comments. Let me know if you use a Cricut or... You know, anything like that? Uh, follow up, take note, cancel tomorrow, post. Let's see. They have some things, something I can put down, but it's the words. I need different words. I guess I could cover it up with a script. Oh, I thought these were... Mm. <laughs> okay. I thought these were one whole um, box, but they are not. I'm gonna have to cover these up with something. Not with something with with uh, scripts. I'm trying to be careful pulling pulling them up because of the type of material that it is. Over. 
I may just end up. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Now, let's put something here. And then I'm going to be done. <laughs> if I can find something small to put here and here, I'll put there. But if not, I'll just leave it. Yeah, I struggled with this one a little bit. But at least y'all got to hear the story about how my sewing journey began. <laughs> coffee cup here that's cute and then I'll put this here just to fill up the space now here and then we will be done so I gotta find something that's not too big. Since there's plants over here, I think I should put plants over there. Ah, I just ripped the sticker a little bit, but I think it's fine. All right, and here we go. <laughs> it was a little bit of a struggle, but I got it. <laughs> All right, so here's my spread for this week. Again, I use the Go Mining Cocoa Quiet Luxury sticker book. Um, the stickers are um, like a washi tape type feel. Um, only thing I don't like about that is I can see the see the times here more through. Like with a matte sticker, it would cover it up a little bit more, but it's fine. It'll work. <laughs> All right, but let me know what you think of the spread in the comments. Uh, if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post a new video and I will see you in the next one.